Prince Harry appeared to momentarily lose his temper as he stood alongside Meghan Markle during the royal couple's trip to Morocco. Prince Harry appeared to lose his cool with a local Moroccan TV cameraman during his and Meghan Markle's trip to the North African country. Both Prince Harry and Meghan were testing the local cuisine when the Duke of Sussex lost his temper. The person operating the camera appeared to bash into the head of one of the children presenting the food. Prince Harry swiftly walked behind Meghan Markle and over to the camera and shoved the camera lens backwards. The Duke of Sussex then gestured for the cameraman to back off, with a stern expression on his face. Prince Harry then smiled at the child and gave them a pat on the arm to check they were unharmed. It came as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were testing a pigeon pie dish, at an event to celebrate Moroccan cuisine. Royal commentator Robert Jobson warned the Duchess was breaking away with tradition with her decision to try out the local cuisine as royal family members are usually cautious to avoid food poisoning while on tours around the world. Speaking to Sunrise from Morocco, Mr. Jobson said, I gave it a miss because, I must say it looked very nice, I thought I'd give it a pass. They are quite ambitious. Usually, the royals don't eat like that. They to touch the food, they sort of mess it around a little bit. Harry and Meghan sort of chomped away and seemed quite happy with it. They were enjoying it. During the event Meghan wrote a message in the front of the Together book she presented to Chef Moha. It read, Chef Moha. Wishing you continued success and congratulating you on your incredible work in engaging the community in cooking. All the best. Meghan. The Duchess said that she and Harry would bring the whole family next time, so Chef Moha could cook for them all when the baby arrives. The trip to Morocco has given the royal couple the chance to meet influential Moroccan women, young entrepreneurs and disabled athletes. The couple ended their three-day tour by spending around an hour with King Mohammed VI at his private residence surrounded by his immediate family. The king granted an audience to Harry and Meghan in his private home. Harry said he had had an invitation from an unknown individual to stay on after their tour ended, he was very keen on getting us down there two days after this trip, unfortunately, we have commitments to get back to. He also said to the king that he would not be able to take up your fantastic invitation, but added, next time we will schedule it properly. We will keep it very quiet from everybody out there. During their trip, Meghan also received a henna tattoo in celebration of her pregnancy. The henna tattoo, popular in Morocco, is seen as good luck for pregnant women. Samir Wadi, 17, who created the design said, it's a tradition for pregnant women in Morocco to have a henna tattoo. We do it for major celebrations like getting married or having a baby. It's like the plant of paradise so we use it to mark all major occasions. This weekend marks the couple's last overseas engagement before they welcome their first child. Meghan is expected to give birth in April or May, and before their whirlwind trip in Morocco, friends of the Duchess held a baby shower for her in New York.